All right, hello and welcome to Snow Problems 2017 Robot Educational Walkthrough. We're gonna be taking you through each of the individual subsystems of our 2017 robot, Volantos, named after the Titan, god of air and breezes. Now, first we're gonna talk about our drivetrain. Our drivetrain uses four inch wheels using the new Evo shifters from Andy Mark. Uh, these shifters are between a 22.67 to 1 and a 7.65 to 1 ratio. We found this is a little bit slower than we would have liked, but we were just really excited to test out these new shifters, these new products, and they've been performing fantastically for us. For our frame, we chose the short and wide configuration. Um, this is for a variety of reasons, uh, to make it easier for us to pick up lots of balls at once. So this is our climber and intake combination mechanism. Uh, we have the power being transmitted from the gearbox here through the tube. There's chain and sprockets here. And then it's also driven both of these axles. So see here. Uh, we found we needed surgical tubing because otherwise the balls would get stuck right about here. And we also added these plastic guards so that the balls would be guided into our hopper and shooter mechanism. Um, right now, we have it so the bottom of these wheels are about four and a half inches from the ground, and that provides the correct amount of compression in order to feed the balls in. Uh, in addition, the bumpers help provide some compression so that the balls will be uh, sucked up into our hopper mechanism. So this is our combination uh, hanging and intake mechanism. Um, to power it we have a 2SIM sonic shifter. Um, so we have a 2SIM 2 2-speed two gearbox powering our intake climber. Um, we do that because we want a high speed for picking up the balls. We also want a lower gear in order to have the torque required to hang the robot at, for the end game. Um, to hang the robot, our plan is to have a, we have a loop in our hanging rope and that gets caught, and we catch that with our pin here and that winds around the intake bar and it's able to climb up. Um, in order to do this, we built the whole overall mechanism very robustly, so it's pretty hefty hardware and steel axles in order to be able to uh, hang the whole robot weight on this mechanism. Alright, so our goal with the uh, gear mechanism was to make it uh, was uh, based on the principles of uh, intaking the gear and then scoring the gear. We decided that it would be uh, best if that was all part of one system and that's uh, part of what went into our final product is a simple uh, mechanism that uh, can both intake the gear and score the gear easily. With the intake, we tried to go with a pipe-like shape to help center the gear into the, um, into the robot. We had to make a gap um, inside the intake so that way the human player would be able to take it out when scoring. The back flap of the gear um, of the gear intake is slightly special in the fact that it, it um, is wobbly to help catch the gear and um, slide it in. All right. So once the gear has been put placed into the robot, uh, we will want to go over and try and score it. So uh, the peg will come in here, and then we'll drive up to it, force the peg into this gap here, and then the human player will then try and lift it up and then allowing to score it so that the robot can then drive away. Our shooter mechanism is engaged when the whole back half actuates backwards. Then the ball will be fed through the surgical tubing conveyor belt into the flywheel. The flywheel is four inch of compliance wheels and we have four of them. This is powered with two RS775 Pros with a 3 to 1 gear reduction. The angle in which 
the ball exits, our shooter is 8 degrees from vertical. Alright, so just to kind of go over the powder coating, so the end result has a whole lot of blue, which you can see here, and some black on the frame. So basically the powder coating is just a quick coat that you spray on and then you bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes and then it looks like this. It's really easy to get results like you have here and we've been you know, cranking out all these parts. It just adds about 30 minutes or so to each part. Um, overall, we've loved the results that we've been getting from this. That concludes our educational walkthrough of Atlantos. We, as you can see, the robot matches our strategic goals of focusing first and foremost on gear scoring, and then after that, focus uh, having a complementary ability to score fuel and climb. Make sure to check out our in-depth technical paper, which is posted on Chief Delphi, as well as all of the other material that we've been releasing throughout our build. We hope you find it useful, and we'll see you at the competition.